Continuing our team coverage right now with News 2's Riley Benson. R L Riley is live at the Isle of Palms. And Riley, certainly a focus for law enforcement, the danger of these rip currents, making sure beachgoers are safe. Yeah, Brendan Carroll, and you can see behind me, there are some people out here on the beach, even in the water, and not as many people as were out here around around noon earlier today when we were out here on the Isle of Palms. But the Isle of Palms Police Department says for those who are coming to the beach today, for those who are getting in the water, it's important to know the risk of rip currents, especially no matter the size of the storm, big or small, it's important to know the dangers and how to beat a rip current if you happen to get caught in one. Ties do look kind of dangerous, and I don't know, I, I don't want to go in the water. <laughs> Beachgoers excited to hit the beach to get a close up look at the approaching storm, but say it's important to understand the danger. When it comes to Mother Nature, you can't be too careful, I suppose. So stuff like that, I just try to stay shore, get in a little bit. Um, unless you're a real strong swimmer, I would just be careful. In 2020, NOAA says South Carolina had eight rip current related deaths, one of those amongst corner resident here on the Isle of Palms. Isle of Palms Police Chief Kevin Cornett says knowing the risks means the difference. Make sure you know what to do if you're in a rip current. Make sure you know what to do if the waves get overhand. Make sure you know how to get in touch with your emergency responders should something happen on the beach. For Cornett's department, they plan to increase staff to respond at a moment's notice. We do have people that come out to the beach more frequently, and we do make sure that we have all of our equipment, our boats, our ski jets, and things like that staged and ready to go should a call come out. A holiday week on the Isle of Palms means larger crowds. Cornette says rip currents are likely to last at least through the first part of the week, something that beachgoers should keep in mind. Or make sure that you have people out with them. Use the buddy system. It's real important when we see incidents out here where somebody's swimming by themselves. That can be dangerous when this water, water is difficult like it is. Tropical storm Danny turning up interest and rip currents on the Isle of Palms. Yeah, be careful with the waves. Those are, those are kind of crazy. Have fun, uh, still enjoy, don't let it ruin anything for you, just be careful. And if it looks too rough, don't go in the water. Now, good tip for swimmers. Chief Cornette says if you happen to get caught in a rip current, that you should swim parallel to the shore, not against that current. He says his department will also be keeping on a couple other things here on the Isle of Palms. Flooding in the known areas on the Isle of Palms along streets, some of the back alleys. He's also asking the residents to tie down any loose items that could get caught in the wind and blown away. For now, reporting live from the Isle of Palms, Riley Benson, count on two.